the last uh, 20 years plus that we've been involved in the global war on terrorism, uh, we haven't been overly concerned with the, the air threat because uh, largely it has not been there. So it's, it's been an afterthought. Uh, but based upon the operate changes to the operating environment, uh, the prevalence of a, a uh, you know, low flying uh, threat ha has surfaced, uh, and it's. Uh, become a, a key focal area uh, for the U.S. Army with, with Air Missile Defense being one of the uh, Chief of Staff's uh, priorities for modernization. Shore Range Air Defense capability is important for maneuver units because of uh, the capability it provides for maneuver commanders of uh, having uh, an answer to air threats uh, from a short range air defense perspective. So uh, within this theater, uh, it uh, assists maneuver commanders having the Avenger units and, and upcoming maneuver show red uh, here at JMRC so that they get an opportunity to train uh, with those short range air defense units uh, in, a, in a combat uh, environment at a, at a CTC uh, and, and understand it's the integration process as well as uh, the actual tactical execution process. This training exercise combined with all helps us see where we're going to be at and helps us integrate with these units and collectively fight as a team because we know what we have to do to get the job done but necessarily we don't know what the other units need from us so this is like a great test of our skill and our communication to other units and their commanders and their first sergeants and their whole command team on a bigger scale and a larger battlefield. key message I, I gave to, to our team uh, is that I'm incredibly proud of, of what Bravo Battery, uh, 50 Battery is doing out here. 